Putrid smell of Bath and Body Works. <laughs> oh, very funny. So, what are you guys in here for? Texting, Texting in class. class. Huh? Us too. Last that is so lame, Stewie. Miss Stewart, my family does not use common nicknames such as Stewie. Isn't that right, Barbara? That is correct, Stuart. Come, brother, let us take our seats. So what brings Stuart to Barbara Jennings in the common after-school detention for it? <sighs> Nanya. Nanya? Shall I translate, Stuart? Be my guest. Nanya, business! I'll tell you exactly why you're here. They were caught texting, just like the rest of us. Us? Caught texting? <laughs> You're right. We were, as you say, busted. Oh, what would the others say? Shame. Oh, shame. Oh, wait. I think we got the wrong room. Is this detention? I think so. Yeah, this is detention. You guys got busted texting in class, too? Yeah, right. You guys are so lame. So lame. <laughs> You think we've caught doing something so stupid? Don't you understand texting was invented by an evil corporation to rip your parents off? So lame. So then why are you here? I told Miss Carrington I thought she was a Nazi conformist trying to brainwash us with our history books written by the white man conservatives who want us to die early by eating a diet of Big Macs and chicken nuggets. Really? Really. I was sent into detention because I told Principal Lewis to lay off the donuts and to stop serving dead cows for lunch every Monday that were tortured and mutilated and to start offering vegan lunches or I'll chain myself to his car and go on a hunger strike. How did that work out for you? I'm here, aren't I? So... We know! Wait! <laughs> Alright everyone, have a seat! See, who put your sister in charge? Talk about a Nazi. There's nothing worse than an eight-year-old in high school given a bit of authority. I know, look at this. What? You are in detention and there's no talking in detention. Miss Carrington has put me in charge until she gets here. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Miss Carrington, that was not happen. Hence the box. Please place your cell phones in the box and you can pick them up at the end of the day. Tomorrow. What is the meaning of this ruckus? You are in detention. Thank you, Molly. I'll take it from here. Yes, Miss Carrington. Here's everyone's phone. Tell your sister she's dead yet. I would appreciate if you wanted to me out of it. Oh, go suck a cow. Barbara, such language. You will now spend another afternoon in detention. Listen, everyone. Texting is a serious epidemic in this school, on our streets, and even in our movie theaters. Come on, Miss Carrington. The next thing you're going to tell us is that texting is going to bring on the end of the world. Well, if you hadn't interrupted me, let's just get into that. Yes, Stuart? When you were younger, your parents said that rock and roll was going to bring on the end of civilization, and now your generation is blaming texting? Well, how old do you think I am? Yeah, I think we should have Well, listen to this. Teens are also more likely to text and drive than any other age groups. In a 2007 study conducted by the Liberty Mutual Insurance Group, 
50% of the teens surveyed admitted to texting while driving, even though they acknowledged that it was a dangerous thing to do. So to get your phones back, you will all present a commercial to your classmates that teaches them the dangers of texting while driving, and you will present it at tomorrow's pep rap. What? Oh, oh my! Oh, 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 this is ridiculous. So, for now, I suggest you take your homework out and get cracking. May I also present something? Oh, yes, Molly. You can join your sister's team. Excuse me. Is this attention? I'm sorry, Emily. I got lost. Oh, come on in, Dylan. I sure hope this isn't a sign of things to come. Being in detention on the first day in a new school. In all due respect, Miss Carrington, the school that I come from embraces the new technology that is available to us teens today. Their philosophy is to integrate smartphones, iPads, and laptops into a learning process as a tool to help keep us students more competitive. Well, in the real world. Be that as it may go, you are at Springfield now, and we see things in a different way. Please take your seat. Mm -hmm. Who is willing to help Dylan with tomorrow's assignment for the pep rally? Stuart, you may fill Dylan. Now, everyone, back to work. All right, you're all free to go. Molly, can I get through one day without you embarrassing me? It's bad enough that my eight-year-old sister is smarter than you. Dude, now I suggest you walk to the door before Mom, before Mom gets home from work. Make a note, dear brother. Dylan is going to be my next boyfriend. Oh God, this is not going to end well. Shut up and go invite him over to the cafe to work on a commercial with us. As you wish. Hi, Dylan. I'm Stuart, and oh, and this is my sister Barbara. Hi. Uh, would you like to work on our commercials together? Uh, sure. Um, what's the address? The Cafe Trivana. Uh, okay. Um, do you know the address? 1195 North High Street. Uh, okay. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> That was so lame. Yeah, so lame. What? We heard Stu and Barb invite you to the cafe. That is so lame. Totally lame. <laughs> oh, watch out for Barb. She's a total psycho. I don't know. They don't seem nice enough. <laughs> Didn't you see the way she's looking at you? I can tell she's up to something. <laughs> Why don't you ditch those up to your kids and come up with us? Unless you want to be lame. Yeah, so lame. I think I can handle things. Later. Whatever, Mr. I should be in a white man, Dylan. That is so lame. Oh, yeah. He is so cute. Did you see Barb trying to put the moves on him? Ew. <laughs> I can tell you guys, she's not all bad. What are we going to do for a commercial? Let's head to the cafe and work there. Sounds like a plan. Hey, look. Isn't that Dylan? Yeah, he's coming in this way. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Dylan. Hey, I'm Missy. This is Jesse and Beth. Nice to meet you. Hey Beth, we have a show choir together. I like the performance you did today. It was great. <laughs> Thanks. See, maybe like we can go get a frappuccino and talk about mm, stuff. No, Dylan. I would rather eat this. I have tickets to Adele next week. How about then? Dylan, this? It's not gonna happen. I think she likes me. Is that Beth talking to my boyfriend? Bart, Dylan is not your boyfriend. Not yet. And if she thinks she's going to move in on Dylan, she better be ready to fight. It's on. Uh, that is so ghetto. It's going to be all right. I don't understand what's happening to me. You're just going through withdrawal. Withdrawal? When was the last time you texted? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now I want you to breathe. No, 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 nice deep breaths. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh my, it's worse than I thought. Hey guys, sorry, I'm late. What's wrong with Christy? 
A cute textile is what you all. What are we gonna, oh no, what are we gonna do? Calm down. <laughs> I can't believe you blew Dylan off like that. I know, what's the matter with you? Okay, first of all, I don't take freshmen. Second, see the barista over there? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I think he likes me. <gasps> okay, now I get it. Here he comes. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> Beth, right? <laughs> Hey, I'll be right back to get your order. I got a crisis on table three. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I can't remember my name. That's a good sign. Oh gosh. Hey, isn't that the drama kids over there? Yeah, they better not. Embarrass me. Okay, this looks like an acute case of textitis withdrawal. Does anybody have a smartphone? Come on, it's an emergency. Well, what's going on? Thanks. Take that. Easy. You don't want to text too much too fast. I think she's going to be all right. Hey, where'd you get that phone? I always carry a backup. Well, my work here is done. You were great. Couldn't have done it without you. Okay, guys, I think we need to get back to working on our commercial. Okay, right, that's why we came here. Come on, Beth. Oh my god, that's Beth. Oh god, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> Trying to steal my boyfriend, Beth? This means war. <laughs> of the commercial of the dangers of driving and texting. My sister! My sister! She's dead! My only sister is dead because you hit her with a car! Oh my god! I'm so sorry! I didn't see you walking there! Well, of course you didn't see us! You were texting while driving! She's dead! She's really dead! Oh my god! I have to live with this for the rest of my life. I'm such a horrible person. Seven, I was riding along in my girlfriend's car, we were chilling along. She was sexing on the phone, I was listening to music. Before I could get a stop, there's no more room. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Texting, bro, it can get you killed when you're driving back to your home or your hood. Texting, bro, it can get you in trouble. Believe me, I know from experience. Don't, Don't text, text and drive. And drive. Don't text and drive. Don't text and drive. Eating meat is murder. Eating meat is lame. So lame. Testing and driving and eating meat is lame. So lame. <laughs> Right, you guys are so lame. So lame. So lame. So lame. Cut. <laughs>